Thanks very much. Um, <coughs> from South Africa and uh, one time government minister. And I'd like to just quote from the late Nelson Mandela, who said that Palestine is the great moral issue of our times. And how Mandela would have recoiled at this absolute latest, most gruesome attack on the Palestinian people in Gaza. The West Bank as well, of course, has seen some terrible things happening. But um, the point, of course, and if I can again use the South African analogy, ladies and gentlemen, is that people engaged in a just cause and with the assistance of the world community will win in the end against even the most unspeakable uh, atrocities and measures. And Russell Tribunal as ever provides what Michael Mansfield mentioned in his introduction, uh, the means by which we can carry on with this worldwide campaign which can follow and is following in the footsteps of the success of the anti-apartheid movement, which in the end, with the, in supporting the people of South Africa, was able to remove a regime which people thought was immovable. And we absolutely believe and take great heart and courage from the way in which particularly civil society has got behind the boycott, divestment and sanctions call of the Palestinian civil society, but also the way in which quite a number of countries, the Latin American countries, have severed ties uh, with Israel. And um, in the first place, we are calling and demanding of Israel to end the occupation, to lift the siege, to pay reparations to the victims, um, and, and so on. At point uh, page 11, under section five, we've got the list there which deals with Israel, um, demand of the release of the political prisoners, and so on. Uh, prosecution of those suspected of being responsible for international crimes, etc., and demands to Israel that it must work towards preventing the crime of genocide. Well, to do that, we need states, we need the United Nations, we need the EU, we need civil society to ensure that that doesn't happen. We call on Egypt as well to lift the siege to allow the, um, the, the unhindered movement of people, uh, of, of um, supplies and so on, as Israel must, and particularly to the EU. And those who have been following the Russell Tribunal proceedings will well know that we've had a session which was dedicated to the EU and another one to corporates who trade with Israel. Unfortunately, of course, the EU has failed to respond. They have listened, at least, but they failed to respond. Ladies and gentlemen, we noted how with alacrity they moved sanctions against Russia in relation to the downing of a certain plane in the Ukraine without full proof. And yet, the unspeakable crimes of Israel carry on without with impunity, and we would say that if the EU, amongst others, had heeded and responded to Russell Tribunal calls in the past, we would not have seen the crimes and the atrocities, the killings that we've seen on our TV screens in July and August. So states, people, the UN, they can make a difference. And we have a long list here, but the key thing is that the EU must suspend its association agreement with Israel. It must apply and impose comprehensive arms embargo against Israel. And it must also, and it's up to the citizens, the good citizens of the EU, whose taxes have gone to build 
and construct within Gaza, and time and again Israel destroys, and your taxes will go again to rebuild. That, that has to end in the sense that it's Israel who must pay for those damages, and that must be demanded. It's the only right thing to do. We call on the UN to apply the arms embargo, sanctions, boycott, and make sure its resolutions are carried out. Um, we call on the Palestinian Authority to accede to the Rome Statute and their clear-cut consequences in relation to that. That's very important. Most important of all, and to end, we reiterate to you, through your good consciences through your souls, your heart, to carry on with the boycott, divestment and sanctions campaign. It is working. It's gaining ground. They're feeling it in Israel. And remember the South African example, because BDS, reinforcing the just struggle of the people, succeeds in the end. Thank you.